The Neapolitans are thought to be aggressive. The defining features of Neapolitans are it's an alpha breed. It's the kind of dog that bites before it barks. They really don't bark, they just launch. My name is Orchid and this is Inland Empire Mastinos. Come inside and meet the Mastiffs. Orchid and Albert run Inland Empire Mastinos, a dog breeding facility specializing in Neapolitan Mastiffs. A huge guard dog that has been used to intimidate intruders since the days of ancient Rome. Now we're in the backyard. They get to play out here. They're gonna get all hyper. Nelson, no, nasty. The defining features that make a top quality Neapolitan Massive are its big bone, big block heads, good girth on the whole body itself. They should have creases of skin, which is their wrinkles on the back. The top line has to be straight. Their height. The paws have to be like lion paws. These dogs have been increasing in popularity due to their formidable size. <laughs> and these guys have been perfecting their pack through careful breeding and now own six large mastiffs. Here we have Babyface Nelson. Babyface Nelson tends to be the laziest one. <laughs> we have Mary Shaw. She's weighing at about 120. Very active, always playing, wrestling with the boys. Clyde, he is three years old. Always on guard. We have Bonnie. She's weighing at 135. She always tries to be the alpha female. Mystery. She weighs about 120 pounds. Ambush is our biggest dog. He weighs about 180. Ambush isn't the main breeding dog because he's too aggressive with other dogs. <laughs> he's not dog friendly. He's people friendly. <laughs> <laughs> They're eating chicken soup and making a mess. Yeah, this is basically a daily routine. But we actually cook it for them, we bring it out, we watch them eat. They never eat unsupervised because we don't want them to feel like they're the alpha and then no one can share the meals. To eat unsupervised, it would probably be ugly. They would probably end up in a fight. Neapolitan Mastiff puppies are just incredibly cute when they're newborn and you could already see the little waves on the fur where the wrinkles will eventually grow into them and when they're weeks old they're already full in little wrinkles. See again those babies are too big for you mama. <laughs> and these wrinkly puppies sell for up to $8,000. The Neapolitan Mastiffs were originated from Rome. They were bred for protecting property and families and also used in war. The Neapolitans are thought to be aggressive to strangers. Neapolitans are, are alpha, it's an alpha breed. They want to run the yard. It's the kind of dog that bites before it barks. When it barks, that's because either he was on a leash and he knew he couldn't get to you or behind a fence. Or else they really don't bark, they just lie. People are scared because they're really big dogs and their size is just too big. They're guard dogs and they're, they're really good at protecting this house. My favorite one is Clyde. He's my best protector dog because he barks really loud. Um, he's a good dog and he actually, he's cuddly-ish with us. Sit. Lay down. Sit. Come on. Good boy, Clyde. The Neapolitan Massives, they, they don't misbehave, but they are stubborn. Today, Albert and Orchid are taking their biggest dog, Ambush, out for a walk to show off their breed. When we go out for our walks with the Neapolitans, we could only take one male just due to their strength. I could barely handle one. Hopefully his mischievous temperament will stay in check while they're out. They could pet them if you would like to let them, that's fine. <laughs> we get a lot of attention when we're out with the needles. We could barely get a few feet away when we have ambush. 
The next crowd of people asking, what kind of dogs are these? A lot of people stop us, but you can tell they're intimidated. Sure. Yes, it's a <laughs> She looks like a teddy bear. Right? <laughs> That's crazy! With such a distinctive breed, it's not surprising these guys are mobbed wherever they go. Seeing that dog grow up, mature, and just like explosive, it's just something we love to do. It's not easy to do, but we love to do it.